hey what's up guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how the list comprehensions work in python so the first one is simple list comprehension let us assume that we want to create a list which will have 1 to 10 numbers in it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a list called list 1 and i'll take this empty list and inside of uh, this list one what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a for loop for i in range of 1 to 11 uh, 11 because always the last value is excluded so to iterate till 10 we need to include 11 because range function will always exclude the last value okay now this i variable i'll just copy and paste it over here okay now if i just print list 1 it is going to have the numbers from 1 to 10 and i'll execute this and here we can see it has printed a list which has 1 to 10 numbers in it now uh, it's not like you can only just uh, uh, place i over here you can place the uh, whatever uh, formula you want to do i'll just give to the power 2 and if i execute this all the elements from uh, this list will get uh, raised to the power 2 so here we can see so 1 1 to the power 2 is 1 2 to the power 2 is 4 t 3 to the power 2 is 9 and likewise 10 to the power 2 is 100 okay so this is uh, a simple list comprehension now let us take a look at the second one list comprehension using if condition let us assume that we want a list which is going to have only even numbers in it so i'll create a list 2 okay and i'll take a for loop for i in range of 1 to 11 again uh, 11 because the last value is excluded in the range function and i'll take the if condition if i i mod 2 is equal to 0 then i want that element to be added in my list 2 so i'll just give i over here and i'll just print list 2 and here you can see this list 2 contains only even numbers if you want only odd numbers then I'll, I'll just give not equal to 0 then here you can see it has uh, now this list 2 has only odd numbers so this was list comprehension using if condition now let us take a look at how to use list comprehension using if else condition so the syntax is going to be a little bit different I'll create a list 3 list 3 and again it will be empty initially I'll take for loop as usual for i in range of 1 to 11 now let us assume that if the number is even we want it to be replaced by 0 and if it is odd we want it to be replaced by 1 so what I will do is I'll take if condition if i mod 2 is equal to 0 then I want that number to be replaced by 0 I'll give 0 over here and now else condition else I want it to be replaced by 1 so this is the syntax if I'm, I'm taking a for loop for i in range of 1 to 11 okay so uh, this uh, this loop will iterate 10 times so it will check if i mod 2 equals 0 then that number is even and i want that number to be replaced by 0 so i am giving 0 over here and else if that number is odd then i want it to be replaced by 1 okay so this is a list comprehension using if else condition i'll just print list 3 now and here we can see all the odd numbers have been replaced by 1 and even numbers have been replaced by 0 1 was odd number so 1 is a replaced by 1 2 is even number 2 is replaced by 0 and 3 is odd number 3 is replaced by 1 likewise it it has done till 10 so 10 is even number so it is replaced by 0 okay so to compare it with the uh, uh, normal result what i'll do is i'll just um, I'll, I'll create one more list comprehension i'll take this this list one so that you won't get confused so i'll just paste it over here and I'll just simply give i and I'll also print list 1 now and here we can see uh, all the odd numbers have been replaced by 1 even numbers by 0 
okay so this was about uh, list comprehension using if else condition now let us take a look at uh, list comprehension how to use list comprehension using nested for loops okay so let us assume that you want to create a list which is going to have elements like this 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 3 likewise okay so you can do this using nested for loops i'll create list 4 list 4 and i'll take two for loops for i in range of 1 to 11 and another for loop over here for j in range of 1 to 11 and here what i'll give is i'll give tuple and i'll give i comma j and finally i'll just print list 4 and i'll execute this and here you can see the result 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 likewise it has 100 tuples inside a list okay if you want you can count it i'm not going to do that so so this is how you can uh, um, use nested for loops inside a list okay uh, to use a list comprehension using a nested for loops okay let us go through each one of them real quick so here you can you can use the formula uh, you can just uh, give i or whatever the formula you want to use but this you have to use that formula you have to use this uh, temporary variable inside your formula then only it is going to work properly if you use another uh, variable like j then not j i have used uh, j somewhere over here it will take that one so i'll just give k k i have used nowhere and here you can see it gives an error okay so you have to use the variable which you have used temporary variable inside a for loop so it is going to print 1 to 10 and if you want it to be multiplied by 2 you can give multiplied by 2 and here you can see 2 4 6 8 10 okay so this was about simple list comprehension now list comprehension using if condition so uh, here i have assumed assumed that i want this list to have odd numbers only so for i in range 1 comma 11 if i mod 2 is not equal to 0 then that number is definitely odd number then i am including that i over here and i have printed list 2 that's why this list has odd numbers only if you want even numbers just remove this not equal to and give equal to double equal to then it is going to include only even numbers inside it now list comprehension using if else condition uh, the syntax is little bit different when compared to if condition so i'm taking as usual i'm taking a for loop for i in range 1 to 11 if the number is even then i want it to have zero value if it is odd then i want it to have one okay so one is odd that's why one two is even that's why zero okay you can yeah, as per your uh, condition you can include this any if else condition okay here uh, for example i have taken uh, even and odd and here finally in list uh, list comprehension using nested uh, for loops i wanted a list to have uh, tuples a combination multiple combination of tuples that's why i have included a tuple then inside it i have included these variables i comma j that's why it has printed all the combinations of that's why it has included all the combinations of i comma j inside a list so this was about list comprehensions using python i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one until next time take care and be safe